am Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I want to share with you today the My Creative Bible. I thought this verse that I'm going to do today is a good one, and I like the picture that is in this one to be colored. And I've just got this, so there's nothing else colored in it except for the one we're doing today. The pictures that are in here are a little more consistent than some of the other Bibles. There's some where it looks like there's dozens of people who contributed art to it, and these are very casual in their style. And that is a style that may go well with what you do. If you are a person who likes something a little more casual, sometimes the really elegant fonts can be intimidating because then you feel like you have to raise your art to some crazy level. These are, are very casual, very natural feeling. They, they feel like somebody journaled the verses because they were praying through them. There's some of them where I've, I've wondered whether the person actually read the verse that they were working on, but this one is quite lovely in that. The uh, images are black and a lot of them have imagery with them to color. And then there are full pages that have a whole verse in them. We're going to be working on the armor of God. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. And since we're at the start of a new year, just armoring up would be a good idea, wouldn't it be? <laughs> so this one is a hardback Bible. And I put something underneath of it so that my Bible's a little flatter to work on. And this is the set of pencils I'm going to be using today. These are watercolor pencils from Faber-Castell. You don't have to have anything this crazy. I got the full set because, yeah, I'm that way. There's three trays in there, and there's a gajillion colors. If you are the gajillion color type, it has a lot of skin tones in it, which a lot of the other color pencil sets don't. Just put that out there so you know. But I'm going to be using just a few colors here to color this one. And I'm going to be doing a few things with this in adapting this art to make it mine instead of just coloring what somebody else has down here. Because I was picturing myself in this armor and I'm not as tough as that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not a bad girl that can pull off wearing that kind of tough looking armor. So mine is going to be blue and purple. I'm going to use that primarily for the color because it's a little happier. And I'm going to put some happy color behind it because that would be more of me. If you have a son or a grandson who would color this for you, I am sure they will use different colors than I use. I'm just scribbling in some color, a little blue, a little purple, both light colors, light shades of it. And then going into some of the darkest areas, kind of the corners of things, and I'm not really worrying about where light's coming from or anything. I just want to make it look like it's shiny metal. And by adding a little bit of black, just little splotches of it here and there along some of the seams that are in the armor, I can kind of get some a look of shading without having to really stress out over shading because Bible journaling is not about stressing out. It's about meditating on the Word of God. I love that each one of the parts of the armor are labeled. It was a really good exercise as I was doing this. And of course, this is sped up twice. So it's uh, much faster than what it took me to do. I really prayed through each one of these and asked God to give me that helmet of salvation, to give me the breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith. And I thought about areas in my life where I need them this coming year. It's going to be a challenging year. It's, it, last year was tough. This might be tougher. I, I'm praying it's going to be easier. We will see. But I know for a lot of you, you've had a tough time too. Pray each one of these for yourself. And really pray through the armor and wear it. Wear it every single day. Because that's what's going to keep you safe. I'm using this whole uh, thing here, by the way, is using one swoosh of water. I have not re-wet my brush for the whole figure. And I let all the colors just kind of mush together and see how the black and the purple and the blue just sort of make it look kind of metal-ish. I left some parts white, so don't get it completely covered in color. And that's going to make it look like metal. In the background, I wanted a splash of superhero color because, you know, you're wearing the armor, you're going to be a superhero. So I'm doing every other stripe is going to be orange out to red on the outside, and then every other stripe is going to be yellow on the inside to orange on the outside. And that's going to give it kind of like a, a look so it looks like it's kind of growing outward and getting darker to the outside edges. And then when I paint my watercolor pencil, 
all I have to do is go over those, kind of sticking with doing most of the yellows all at once so I don't drag that yellow color elsewhere or contaminate the yellow areas with red, that sort of thing. So it's helpful to, to kind of keep to a certain color at a time. And if you hear weird noises in the background, my dog is chewing a bone and it's, I just don't have the heart to tell him to sit down and not chew his bone. So he's going to be doing that while we're working here. So uh, the other thing I didn't like about what, how this came out was that the figure wasn't jumping out of the picture. The lines were thin enough and my color was kind of wishy-washy. So I just went around with a black pencil around the outside edges and gave it a thicker line. And look how much that pops out immediately off of the page. It just gives it a whole different dimension. You can also take that black pencil and go around other elements. You can go around the border. You can go around some of those, those flags, those little banners, and make them pop out more so that they're more visible. Uh, the whole idea behind doing something like this is to make it visible to you when you flip through your Bible. So you're going to go back to that page, and you're going to go back to the concepts on that page. You're going to think about the armor of God again. You don't want to just do it and then never see it again. And if you do wimpy artwork, you might not stop and look. You're going to stop and look at the one that catches your eye. And the red and yellow color is going to do that, as well as this crazy knight in shining armor <laughs> is going to do. So I've got a bunch of my color, then I brought the same blue and purple onto the banners and the type at the top. But I didn't like that little line that was going around there. And originally, I was just going to add white pen in between those to make that white pen pop out because my coloring wasn't really super clear and I thought I'll go over it with the white pen but then I just went over the black printed line so now I have that white border but I don't have the line there and it just looks cleaner it's more readable and it just looked much more clear to me and then I got excited because I had my white pen out <laughs> if you know my other channel I like my white pen a lot and I decided to put little dots all along the border of each one of those rays that's going out. It'll cover up a little bit of that black line and the more I cover the black line outside of the figure the more that black on the inside of the figure is going to stand out. And then you know because I had the white pen I started adding just random highlights. I didn't worry about knowing where metal is going to be shiny at. I just threw in some white highlights here and there. It doesn't have to be rocket science. It looks like metal right? It, don't worry about it. Don't stress out about trying to make it perfect. If you really need to, then go ahead and Google a, a knight in shining armor and see if you can get some hints from that. And then the last finishing touch, I decided I would add a couple of sparkles and I went a little crazy with the sparkles. And they're just asterisks. So you make a an X and then an X the other way. So you make a plus and an X on top of each other. To make an asterisk and if you want to make the the vertical one and the horizontal one a little longer it makes it look a little more like a star but i started putting asterisks and dots all over the place so my my armor is really really shiny in this one which might be a little bit silly but it made it more me so when you do bible journaling when you color someone else's drawing in your bible make it you make it fit you make the colors fit you make the feeling of it fit you because you're the one who's doing the Bible journaling. All right, let's get going and have a good year. I will see you back here next Sunday with another Bible journaling page. Please feel free to go to my Facebook page and share yours with me. I'd love to see what you're creating. All right, have a great week. God bless you.